shortest hunt ever. I hadn't been here maybe 10 minutes. Been watching these hogs come in on my cellular trail camera and uh, that never could catch them here because we always hunt a north wind. They were smart enough not to come in on the north wind. So today, so today we had a west southwest wind and they couldn't smell me and sure enough they came in like clockwork. Uh, I busted one, the biggest one, maybe a boar, uh, hit him on the point of the shoulder and he ran so now for the recovery but it's plenty early and hopefully we can find him so stay tuned. finally recovered this hog. Uh, can't get over. I've hunted them for many years. How absolutely tough they can be. Now they're not always, but this one you saw from the clip uh, took out both running gears, front legs, and the feeders over there a good 150, 200 yards. And uh, made the recovery about 10 minutes after shooting him, and he was still alive. He wasn't mobile by any means, but uh, I gave him a couple of follow-up shots for insurance and uh, finally put him down. But these hogs over in Jack County all kind of have a look, what I would call the, the old Russian look. There's a game ranch over here about three miles, and it's called Squaw Mountain. And we think that a lot of these hogs are descendants from those and they were definitely imported for the hunting industry so they kind of have that tuft hair on the back and jet black look and this was a boar with running with some sows and some little ones and I knew he was coming in and uh, hunt worked out fine it worked out one of the fastest hunts I've ever been on I just wish the shot had to put him down a little bit quicker but that's half the fun the chase so another hog down many more to go See you down the road somewhere.